All right, Taurus, welcome to your weekly Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for January 22nd to the 28th of 2018. So I did uh, get sick over the weekend, um, so I, uh, I'm not going to be doing video with this, but um, did want to get the information out, so let's go ahead and take a look at this like we normally would here. So uh, we've had last weekend coming into this week, the Sun and Venus, your ruler, shifting into your ninth house. So there is this new kind of energy about this week, and I think... Although I think you're likely still thinking about things on a deeper level, which was the case um, and still is this week, um, there is this shift, I think, a little bit more in terms of inspiration in your life. I think it's a fantastic week to uh, really embody the power of manifestation, of thinking big, of opening your horizons, maybe even doing things that are literally opening your horizons, like you know maybe going out into nature and things like this or travel for some of you. But um, opening your horizons, right? It could even be through philosophy and spirituality and all of this. And I think that's going to be a great source of life force and prana for you this week. Um, seeing the potentials, possibilities. You could be enjoying a lot of this uh, with Venus as well. So in terms of the aspects this week, a lot of what we have is involving Mercury. In fact, all of it, all the aspects are involving Mercury. Um, so the uh, eighth house will be emphasized for you, or at least that's where shifts will be taking place more than likely. And uh, this is where the planets were, uh, Sun and Venus, but uh, Mercury is still here. So this is the house of everything deeper in life, what truly matters most. And so your mind is still very much in the deeper realms at this time, which does make it excellent for things like research and um, psychology and spirituality when it's about transformation and healing and stuff. Lots to learn about healing, actually healing yourself. So there's some shifts and changes with that this week, though, with Mercury going over Pluto in your eighth, helping you transform here in some sense. And I think you will be. I think you'll be facing some fears this week or can be, um, letting go of some old past patterns, some unhealthy patterns, uh, really transforming, breaking free in many ways. And I think a lot of that will be pertaining to your resources. This week it could be financial for some of you. Uh, but fundamentally, it's about your sense of self-worth and you know, your self-worth is transforming and even your self-expression, um, you know, again, facing some fears in the face of any wounds about your self-worth or in the face of any wounds about your self-expression. And this can be very empowering for you. So excellent week for that. And I think once you get to about Thursday, uh, Mercury will be sextiling Jupiter where you then feel a little bit more of the possibilities and potentials with a lot of this. And uh, a lot of this is a reminder about how this year really is about expanding with your work and your routine. Um, you have a lot of drive here actually still to get into your routine and your work. Uh, but Jupiter is about opportunities in 2018 for you here. So there could be opportunities there in the areas I mentioned, resources, self-expression. But I think it's all fundamentally about you seeing the potentials with your um, self-improvement your work and your routine there and maybe literal opportunities for some of you so then once we get to about the uh, weekend here once we get to about saturday sunday mercury then squares uranus so this is on the more uh, challenging side collectively but it can be very constructive as all the transits are but squares are really about building and i think what you'll be building this weekend is as how you can really establish your um, community, you know, maybe your, your network circles or your friends, or maybe it's about your future ideals, actually. Um, a lot of you will be feeling like breaking free with your ideals, your future hopes and wishes, the future in general, maybe some things, maybe wanting some changes with your network circles or whatever. So listen to that freedom and um, find the constructive way of working with it, right? What's the healthy, long-term, balanced, disciplined, constructive way, grounded way of working with that? And I think with that perspective, it'll really help uh, build it because that's what's being integrated is these two very different areas of life. You got all this deeper stuff going on right now with the eighth house. And then, you know, it's how to integrate that with your ideals, right? The more inspirational and aspirational and friends and network circle stuff. But um, however you're feeling it, yeah, it's probably going to come across as wanting to break free. So listen to the freedom and yeah, find the healthy ways of building that, uh, that depth, the true meaning in your life, as well as your future ideals and your community. All right, so Taurus, have a fantastic week. Thank you for watching. Um, hope you have a great one, and I'll see you very soon for the next forecast. Take care.